Hey guys, I'm Liv, and welcome back to Our Glass Hearts. This week, I'm going to teach you how to love yourself. I know, I know, it can be hard, it can be frustrating, because you're trying to learn to love something you hate. But luckily, I'm going to teach you how to slowly love yourself, and give you a few tips on how to treat yourself better. So let's get started. Now, one thing that helps a lot is going shopping. I know, I know a lot of YouTubers are like, yo, go shopping and boost up your confidence, but their cute clothes cost like $100 a piece, so that's not gonna happen. But you can you can look decently nice with some cheap, oh my god, uh, cat claws, ouch. <laughs> now back to what I was saying. You see, you can get a decent outfit for $100. Like, you can go to a thrift store and get a shirt for like five bucks and then just get this $30 flannel and throw it over every shirt and you'll look edgy as heck. Like this. You can go from this to this and look fresh as heck. Unless you're like into like the Tumblr styles, then I can't help you because I look at those Tumblr shirts on Etsy or Etsy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Shut up. And they're like $30 a piece, which is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're a Tumblr girl. I can't help you. You should probably leave this video. Now, a lot of YouTubers and people will tell you, look in the mirror and tell yourself five things you love about yourself. And no offense, that's kind of hard when you hate yourself. It's hard to take that first step to say, oh my god, Liv, I love your, um... You get it. So basically, I developed a way to help make it easier to take that first step. And this is what you do. You look at yourself in the mirror, you stare at yourself for three seconds, and you say, you're a piece of garbage. But you're a sexy piece of garbage. What? And then, that's basically, it's basically taking your negativity and adding positivity to it. And then you're gonna keep doing that and eventually you're gonna build up confidence because you're gonna be confident that you're a piece of garbage. But you're gonna think you're a beautiful piece of garbage. So, you're welcome. Now another way to love yourself is be fake confident. We know you're not confident because you're watching this video, obviously. But you gotta be fake confident. If you think you're garbage at something, you go up there and say, Man, I'm the best at this. You all suck. Go sit down. That's how you do it. But don't be a dick, okay? You know, there's a thin line between being confident and being a dick. Don't, don't do, don't do the, don't, don't be mean, okay? But it's okay to be fake confident. If you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, Oh, God, I look gross at that. You look at yourself and you're saying, But I'm going to get all the girls because I am the grossest, beautiful person that could ever exist. I mean, no sense, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Do you hear my cats in the background? They're playing in the box and it's annoying me. Shut up! I'm trying to be inspirational. Moral of the story. You are a beautiful person and you deserve to be loved and cared about. But in the world we live in today, don't expect people to love and care about you and validate you because you control your own future. They're not gonna get you through high school. They're not gonna get you through middle school. They're not gonna help you graduate. They're not gonna pay your bills. You control what job you're getting in the future what house you're gonna live in you, you control everything it's up to you okay you need to learn to love yourself and stop worrying about being validated by other people because at the end of the day you're gonna only have yourself but if if you need to know if someone loves you i love you and i think you're awesome because you know you watch me and i'm awesome so that makes you no i'm joking that's a total joke but i love you guys and i really do care about you guys a lot so if you ever need anything or ever just want to vent or whatever you can always dm me on instagram which would be in the link in the description. Wait, which would be in the description. Which the link will be in the description. And you can and Twitter. Whatever, whatever. You get the whole thing. My Twitter and Instagram is in the description. Gnarly. But anyways, I hope you guys have a rad day. As always, stay rad, stay positive. I love your existence. Goodbye.